Yeah, I'm doing very well. Nice, nice of uh, to invite me along tonight. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm no looking final, so uh, yeah. As you can see, there's a good turnout tonight in the club. Right, you probably just saw a flash then. We got the uh, standard photos taken before the actual match starts. So there was all. Hear us okay. Please let us know. If not, we will. Hello. Right, and there we go. That's uh, John Bevan wins the lag there. Echoes. So, Don Banfield. John with the first opportunity. Please let us know throughout the stream if our mics become clearer. As I said, we're in the testing phase of uh, commentary, so any feedback would be fantastic. Thank you. Bevan Reds. Oh, that's a lovely touch. Let's put his red safe. Commentary levels a little low, so we can. Oh, that's better for you, Chris. Please let us know. Um, for anyone who's just joined, we're obviously uh, Dom and Bev on Reds, Jan and Ryan. Thank you, Rob. Cheers for the feedback. Appreciate that. The short one.
a bit of an echo. Thanks, Chris. Is it still an echo? It's the ambience. Shut it off. Let's just see what happens now. Yeah. I'll just remove it completely from here. There's a nice little plant shot there. Glad you're following. <coughs> you're still commonly oh. messing about with things. Excuse me. Good safety shot from Dom. So we've turned off the ambient mic, so we hopefully our commentary should come through crystal clear now. So uh, just a quick one, a thanks to Sean Halligan for coming down to get the table playing lovely for the final. Uh, Sean's predicting a 9-6 win for Jan and Ryan. Let us know in the comments who you think is going to win and by what score. Do you know what? No, I'm, I'm actually uh, I'm on a health fitness routine at the moment. Stu's on the health fitness routine and I'm eating a Twix in front of him. How fantastic of me. I know. <laughs> well, there's, there's, there's me drinking a Guinness in front of you. I can't really drink. <laughs> well, I suppose a Guinness is a, is a meal in itself, isn't it? It's full of iron. So you get more iron from that than meat, probably. Isn't it? Hmm. Don't forget to share our stream. Let's get more some of your viewers. That's a nice shot there on the reds as he held it nicely. That's a good prediction there by Pav. 9-7 to Dom and Johnny. Oh, there's another one coming. 9-6 to Dom and Johnny. As we're streaming, I can't really be biased, but um, it's good to be a tight one, I think. I don't think I think it'll, I don't think it's, anyone's going to walk it. But then again, Stu, I said this last week, and I was completely wrong. <laughs> oh. The captain's cup. So. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about my my game with Sean at the end. Your name's what? I thought you were talking about my game with Sean at the end there. I mean, that's, I mean, our viewers will be paying you know four ninety nine a month to watch that premium stuff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mine's 
Yeah, thanks for the update there. I mean, who really wants to listen to uh, ads anyway? Yeah, I don't particularly want to listen to me, but um, I've just um, lowered the volume on mine, so let me know if that's any better. The Twixie, the Twixie uh, is getting some feedback or something. <laughs> Sorry, I got you, Chris. Twix. <laughs> Feedback or something, so probably not like it's just a touch. Oh. Rob's on the Giddish as well. Come on, the Legion boys from Barry. Hello, Barry. Well, uh, could be a touch of nerves, to be honest with you. I mean, not many teams actually play underneath a full production live on camera, do they? No, not really. You know, I don't, I don't Especially think. Especially in a final, it's got yeah, to be I don't, team. I don't think it's pull nerves. I think it's, uh, I think it's production nerves. Production. Nerves. <laughs> production nerves. Yeah. Well, if you've got your family watching and stuff. It's always a. Oh yeah, talk, talking about family. I need to, uh, I need to put a big big uh, shout out to my grandson Charlie who's tuning in tonight he's only he's only 10 years old but he's a uh, he's a budding pool player and uh, he's staying up late to watch the stream so uh, okay for me to do a shout out uh, yeah yeah why not why not I'd like to just uh, take this opportunity to give a shout out to Richard Smith for absolutely butchering our match last night uh, <laughs> delivering uh, two out of four well, or it could have been a one, but uh, I'm sure he's listening and I'm sure I appreciate it. in with JB and Dom for the win. So, <coughs> Jan and Ryan, the <coughs> final two years, take this opening back. Yeah, also viewers, we'd like some feedback on the camera, camera angles. Obviously we got the, uh, we got a couple of overhead cameras going on. Do you prefer do you prefer the uh, the side view or looking straight up the table view? I mean, we are going to flick between them tonight, and we can set it to auto flick. But uh, let let us know which uh, which angle you prefer watching. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, oh, that's a nice shot. That's a nice shot from Jan. Would you reckon you touch a middle right? Oh, just missed that pocket. Has he got the legs? Just about. Nice. It's not a gimme, is it? It's not a gimme, but uh, I think I think Jam will I think Jam will have this one. Yep. Great shot. It's one nil. One nil so, so Jan and Ryan get the first points on the board. He was looking the other way for a while. Yeah, yeah. Had the chance. But if I'm honest, I was too busy playing with my mic to watch that wreck. So, my <laughs> you do love to play with your mic. <laughs> I 
right, while, while we're in a little interview here, let's do a bit of technology wizardry and just recenter this table a tiny bit. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Been looking forward to watching this match all week. Just lost the uh, just lost the white there. Nice so where's your uh, which route would you be taking here, Ed? Beyond the bulk. Straight up the table from Barry. And I prefer the main camera straight because of the overhead, I can't tell who's taking the shot. That's fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Well, we, we, could, we could zoom out a bit further, but. Uh, Oh, we've got someone's someone's phone ringing over there. There we go, just for you. Later on, we've had a promise that uh, the in the in the infamous what's that? What's that? Oh, there was a wildlife wildlife noises we're hearing in the background. Oh, Sean, Sean blowing his nose. Uh, okay. uh, I won't I won't bother cracking jokes. I won't actually get some decent comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get some decent Sean comments. said he'll come on the headset in a little bit, so uh, you know. I think that would save our stream, if I'm honest. Yeah, I think it would actually. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll have a little lay down. <laughs> Done a great job with the table. So great job ironing. I mean, I've noticed that with his ironing, he he turns up week in week out. He hasn't got a crease in his shirt at all. have a potential streaker tonight. <laughs> yeah. I told you that's next week for me. Yeah, no, they're all looking very, very uh, spit and span. But but then again, we're both sitting here fully uh, suited up, tired a lot. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Did you bring your monocle? <laughs> 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 oh, I've always blurry out of one eye when I wear that. <laughs> so shame we didn't have a. Well, we 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 could we could put a camera on, couldn't we? Really, of us two, if if people want to look at us two in the corner. 
I think it's dinner time. And <laughs> yeah, I don't think off. I don't think people want to want to see that, do they? Stream's a bit slow and in and out, so we've got a few issues with the stream. All oh right, okay. Well, we are using the same gear. the same. Let's take that off there. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we just taking that pocket there. Hopefully that'll just speed up the stream a little bit for you. Sometimes when you when you get to the top of where you are in pool, sometimes you just got to uh, take a different direction. Production, production's the way to go. No, production is for when you can't play anymore. All oh, right, okay. Hence <laughs> 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 the reason I'm sitting here. <laughs> but then again, I've, I've you know, I think we'll make a good pairing. We we'll be strong out there. I mean, if he wants me to say more, I'll just talk all night. It might be nothing to do with Paul. Oh, is she sitting knuckle there? That was a very good chance. Very good chance. share our stream guys and get more people involved uh, we're still growing we're still ironing out all the little bits that are not really working too well just so we can bring you some top quality ball from our area really um, and like I say every week if you want to come down and do some commentary um, please let us know do a better job than me uh, what would I do without my partner here Probably have a full-blown conversation with someone, to be honest with you. Come a bit too far on that one, or or is she going to go for the plant? Oh, 
That'd be nice if you can squeeze past that black and drop that in. I'd have, uh, I think I'd have dropped that one in the middle first, squeeze past that black, yeah. then taken the one across and come back down for the other one. But uh, we all think differently, you know, it's easy, easy enough for us to sit here and say this is the route we should take, but when you're actually playing... I would, I would say it's easy to commentate, but more subjective to what shot you're, you're strongest at, really, I think. So it's easy to say, could have done this, could have done that. Maybe you couldn't. <laughs> Absolutely, Chris, we agree. Um, like I say, we, we, we're um, growing the stream. We, we haven't really done much commentary before, so thank you for your feedback. Absolutely taken on board. And uh, it will help us grow into this this role of commentary. Or eventually just pay someone to do it. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite happy... Uh, Doing the introduction and, and, and let let someone come along and have a have a chat. Yeah. Uh, Dom up for the double for the. Ooh. Thank you to all twenty watchers um, at the moment. Stay tuned in. Uh, let us know your thoughts on the match or anything you want to say. Just get involved. Just a nudge out top cushion, yep. Yeah, nice shot from Jack. Yeah, oh, she's left it though, she can see it. Well, not sure where. Oh, well, well, the artist will probably just uh, double it straight into the middle. I think you, you'd swerve, swerve it around that red and double it back up the table you know, into the top left. But, uh, tell you what. Oh, you must have heard me. That is such unlucky. Oh, that is so unlucky. It's a great effort. I did call that pocket. I can see him from here. Yeah. Kept me on the table and I miss everything. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Irina who's watching all the way from Germany. Oh. She's actually coming down the club on the 30th. Oh, um, is she? She is, yeah. She is. She's affiliated with one of the players at the table. Um, I won't say who. But hello, Irina. Yes, hello, Irina. Is she is she our first um, international viewer? No, actually, we had someone the other day watching from Prague. Believe it or not, Prague. Yeah. He might be watching tonight, but. I'm, I'm oh, we've actually got we've actually got someone watching from America tonight. Have we? Oh, we have. Yeah, we, we have. have. Phoenix, yeah. Arizona. Mm. And name's getting about, hopefully in a good way. And that is a wrap from Bev and Dom for one all. Thank you, Chris. Chris Byrne uh, comes down to some tournaments. It's often down centuries. See you down there sometimes, mm. Chris. Hello, 
Josh Fisk tuning in. Oh, welcome, Mr. Fisk. Rob Spinner, yeah, absolutely. It's a great name. So, uh, one all at the moment. Oh, the black squad in the middle. Respotted it. Off the break. Yeah. Did you say Josh Fisk has joined us? Josh Fisk. He said that's me on a VPN from America. <laughs> Excellent. Well, if you want to, uh, if you want to come down, Josh, and do some commentating, please, please, by all means, come and join us. Yeah. It's a strong start from both pairs. Tip that all the way in my eyes, but. It's going to be very close. Yep. Very close. I think yellows. Yellows for me. Yeah. There's a chance that yellows in there. We're actually going to go a bit left hand side and take the one back into the middle. Oh, well, she's used the black as a black black blocking. Well. Yeah. Not a very nice shot. So it's a straight race to mine tonight in the street. Yep. St oh, straight. Oh. Oh, this me. Oh, the noises I'm making. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was going to drop. Did you? I did think that was going to drop. I was just going to say the route that the route that was going to take, and then it was oh, it hit the cushion. Knuckle. Oh. I can smell food. Mm. Hmm? Wow, I'm a, a seafood diet. If I see it, I eat it. Hi Irina, I hope when you say live, I heard you're actually coming to the club to watch the matches, so when, when you say live, I hope you mean actually in person, because we've heard a lot about you, and um, it'd be nice to meet you. Yeah, unfortunately no golden breaks um, or golden ducks in this format. What the match? Oh, the commentary. The match oh right. Home, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. Yeah. I was just thinking I got a numb bum. These stools, these stools are very small <laughs> for my posterior. <laughs> yeah, I need a cushion or something. Or a sofa. Or a throne. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? The king and his jester. Which one's the king? <laughs> we'll have to, we'll have to, uh, play yeah, we'll have to, pl we'll have to play a match at the end tonight. Mm. Oh, we can do that actually, couldn't we? We could do. Yeah, we could. Uh, a little race to three or four. After this is finished, uh, loser becomes cleaner of our white shell productions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So everybody watching, so when the uh, when this match finishes in this evening, don't turn it off because. Uh, both myself and Adam will have a will have a little race live uh, just to finish the night off. If you want to see uh, if you want to see Adam be beaten, so stay tuned. Yeah, absolutely. Stay tuned for my beating. <laughs> Streams live. Paul, we, we, we're talking about Paul, though, aren't we? Oh, yeah. yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Mm. I've always outcome. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I've never given a good beating, but I've always I've taken a good beating. Well, maybe we should. Anyway, back to Paul. Back to Paul. Ooh, a bit hard on that one. Yeah. 
Ryan and Jen just talking it through. Drop in the middle here. They're all there, they? I mean, slowly wait for your way around these. Hmm. Yeah, most definitely. Bottom right, bottom left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it now. I can't, I can't see Dom and John coming back to the table. I, I called that too early, didn't I? Really? You literally called it. I called it just as she had to. Perfect. This oh, yeah, perfect. Great to, be great to see you. So if anyone is coming down the club, mate, Irina, feel welcome. I'll buy you a latte, Irina. Well, I'll get you a free one from beyond the bar. How do you know she drinks lattes? What? No, I can't. I can't say that. You know, I just assumed that most uh, <laughs> yeah. most women like to have a little coffee break, a little, little latte break. Could be a macchiato. Sure a pint of Guinness. <laughs> well, I don't stretch that far. <laughs> <laughs> I have to work some overtime to get a pint of Guinness. <laughs> Expensive stuff these days. <clears throat> so Ryan Jan. That's a nice shot. That's a great shot from Ryan. All right. Um, so let's, let's try and do some shot selections, or, or at least some kind of poor commentary. Um, I mean, yeah, those are there, aren't they? Now, it's just the, the black's a bit awkward because um, you'd want, you would want to sort of leave it in the middle right, but I'm not sure if that goes middle left. It'd be great if it did. Yeah, you see from that angle, absolutely. Gosh, she's played that hard. Bit of adrenaline. Oh, very much so. Still okay, got an angle. Well, it makes it a bit more difficult, doesn't it? Um, I don't know if that yellow goes in the... Mm. See that, yeah, that second yellow in the middle of the table? Is that past that red? In the bottom right? Or bottom left as you see. Yeah, on the it's going to be tight. Oh, it's gone round. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. It goes middle. Mm. Does that middle pocket come in play with the white ball? Shot. All on board the pool, just give yourself a shot on the back. Exactly. And he's done that. It's just going to roll this in. That's a great shot. No, great shot. Very okay. nicely done. That's 2 1 to Jan and Ryan. here on the break. Well, 
Oh, she's gone dry. Gone dry. But it's not the best of splits. So I wouldn't be too unhappy with that, if I'm honest. So so when you're playing, how do you feel when you uh when when you break and you get a dry break? Do do you feel any different? Does does it make you like uh is it well, on does it stress you out? It all depends how the ball split. If if there's no obvious clear up after a dry break, then it's not as bad, is it really? But obviously you wanna get one. But if you if you did break and one went down but the balls were not split very nice, it wouldn't really make much of a difference anyway. Sure you've got the advantage but you're mm. gonna be in a tactical battle for a frame anyway, aren't you? You know, you know. Sometimes, sometimes when I'm playing, I, I, sometimes I'd rather not have the choice or what ball to go for, because I always seem to confuse myself. Because I'll see, I'll see a route, I'll see a pattern with one colour or the other colour, and then I'm always double questioning myself. But if someone, if someone takes a colour and leaves me on, then I know what I've got to go for, and I feel so much happier. But, that, but that's just me. Say ball is very subjective. Um, I do prefer the option. <laughs> I think most people do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's the reason I'm not playing. Hugh <laughs> yeah. Jackson, the artist. Um, seems to be difficult. Mm. But, but to be per to be perfectly frank, I'm I'm really not left in that position with my breaks. So I'm, I seem to be uh, I seem to to get to get one down most often. I'm saying that now, they'll watch tonight and everything everything will be dry. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Ryan and Jan at the table with an open table at the moment. So it's got to be yellows. So I'm going to pass over to Sean Anagan for a little bit of commentary. Um, just seen his ad. If you need some coaching, get in touch. He's got a very high success rate. Evening, everyone. Mm -hmm. Evening, Stuart. Oh, welcome, welcome, Sean. You you probably won't be able to uh, hear anything through your uh, two hundred pound headset, <laughs> but uh, but everyone else can hear you chatting. So yeah, so uh, so Jan and I have taken yellows. So that's. So what's your thoughts here, Sean, after this one in the middle? Um, I would probably screw off this over towards the yellow and red in the left-hand corner pocket, but they can just take control by taking the right-hand pocket here. There's no need to force and go for game here at all. That gives you a good view. Yeah, no, she's uh, definitely lining up the balls over that pocket. It's a containing shot down the route. Quite a nervy start from all four players, but it's expected as it's the final. Is that because it's a final or because they're live on the it TV? It could be a little bit of both, but they've probably forgotten that they're on stream already. That's a nice lot of turn there. I wonder if that goes through. Let's have a look at the other angle. You probably would just take the pocket again here on this shot. Mm. Uh, that's about as good as he could have done from that position there. Uh, if this red does squeeze, they do have a chance to go for go. Yeah, I think there's definitely a gap there. Just need to play one good shot in maybe two shots time and take the red away from the yellow. You could also play the loss of turn here as well. You could double kiss the yellow. But no, he's decided to go for it. Um, you should always go into your bad balls early, so you should be going into mm. this now, really. Well, he'll be going, to, going into it now, wouldn't he, Sean? Mm. Must do. Not bad. Just pushed it onto the side rail. This is all about cue ball control now. You don't really want to hit any of these balls hard. 
John's slightly over hit that one already, so this makes this shot a little bit tougher. You would have preferred to have been straight on the one in the middle. And the best way to describe that is he's butchered that one really. So. Mm. I think I might have been in enticed to take the one on the cushion then. Yeah, they could, at worst you would have <coughs> taken the bag anyway, but if John had played his previous shot a little bit softer and left um, Don straighter on the one in the middle, then it was straightforward for me. Again, there's no reason to go for game here unless they really fancy it. Oh, where's that black travelling? No, that's, that's all good. Hmm. So, one good pot needed. Where are they going to go here? Top left? Yeah, it should go top left. And just yes. control the cue ball. Play it nice and gentle. Cued it well. Nice. It's a very good shot. He's actually left an angle here. If Jan doesn't fancy leaving the drop into the middle, they could screw into the black one. Yeah, I think I'd be enticed to uh, I think I'd just, just stun that and drop it. Yeah. Mm. Would have wanted to be slightly closer to this black, but it should still be a good one. Yeah, nice. nice. That'll be three one. Slightly more comfortable with the pairs at the moment. It's a long old final though, first to nine, so long way to go. Just a reminder that we've got a big long weekend of pool coming up this weekend at Century Club. Uh, we have the usual fri Friday night flyer, um, money matches on the Saturday, which should be interesting, some good matches there. Sunday, we have the Sunday service, which is for improving players, and then on Monday we have a bank holiday Monday comp, which is played to the set system, like darts or golf, uh, darts or tennis. Should be a very good weekend of course. Well, I think I should uh, come down for the Sunday services. I'm an improving player. Um, we'll cancel that one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I see the Martins. Uh, well, uh, am, I, am, I, am I allowed to give a shout out? Martins on for a free peat. Yeah, he's he's won it two weeks in a row. Well, would have would have expected him to uh, drop that one in there. Yeah, there was a lot of movement in that shot. Yeah. We need to forget about the scoreline and just play poor at the moment. It's very early days. Mm. First to nine, the club closes <coughs> at twelve. So it fine. <laughs> well, it looks like she's going to bounce this one off the cushion onto the ball. Oh, she got it straight through. She got it straight through. Hence the reason why I need to come to the Sunday service. I can't even see that shot. Mm. Mm. Ryan's got a tight little cut here into the corner. He's, uh, he's umming and iron, but I'm, uh, I think he's still going to go for it. Again, no need here at all. Really, you're just potting yourself into trouble, taking that ball on. He's put his partner into trouble there. Yeah. Should have just taken the bag, really. 
and that gives you an option on the next visit to play the yellow down the other row and take the other puppet, take control. But you never know with Jan, she might have something up her sleeve. Good little safety between the yellow and black maybe. Yep, that's the right shot. Very nice. Jan's been a stalwart of Surrey Pool for a number of years now. Um, hard to believe she turned 72 this year. 72? 72. She looks younger than you, Sean. I know. Well, everyone does, really. Well, let's just get the cameraman to recenter. Good lad, thank you. Welcome to Matthew 7, that is tuned in. Um, go on, Ryan and Jan, miss you both. Should we see if we can get a big... No. Okay, so... Slightly fortunate that he's tied the yellow up. But there's still a safety shot in there behind the black ball if he wants to screw off the yellow. Could go and take the long pop. shot in this situation is just to keep it messy. Right. Stay up behind the black, catch this yellow thing. No need to pause going for game when you free one up for me. I don't know, he's, he's angling that so he's just gonna pop behind the black. That's the correct shot. Yeah. Just oh it's just popped out. Up a little bit early, right? Right. Thank you. Oh, refreshments. Thank you very much. So, well, that's actually freed up their bad yellow now. So. Hmm. Okay. They could go game here if they wanted. First shot's key. Probably stun across the side. Um, possibly leave the plant into the corner. Jan's taking the middle ball first. Maybe she can't see the long one now. So. Nice. Still controlling the frame, but just tied up a yellow there. Now. Dom and John's got all the work to do in this way. <coughs> I'm a bit gun ho when I play hard. Take that red into the middle and uh, get the white travelling. Oh, you'd be clearing these up, Alex, he and stuff. Excuse me. Right, so the yellows are back out. Just need patience here if you're on the yellows. You know, you've got a free shot on a long ball into the corner there. Takes the pressure off that you've got the pocket half covered near the black, so just try to drop this in. A little bit of movement from Ryan again. You, got mm -hmm. you guys need to keep your head down on them long straight pucks. Don't be lifting your head up mm -hmm. too early. That's what, that's what my dad used to say to me when I used to play golf. Mm -hmm. Keep your head still. Focus a point on the ball and don't move it until you visit. Tom's a wee bit short with his positional player. Now, a decent shot here would be to double the red across and try to cover the yellow. I'm not quite sure about jumping about the plant. He's obviously going to try to drop the yellow out. Take the bag. Actually played it well, but the red's gone to the side of the pocket. So another opportunity for Jack. Mm -hmm. Would it be nice if that red covered? Yeah, if he'd have hit it more full ball and stayed over the bag, then mm -hmm. it would have been a decent enough shot. So. Yeah. Quite awkward bridging here. And drop this swing and take the other one in the middle. 
bit pacey. Mm. Never easy to control the pace on them shots when you're bridging over the ball. And this just depends how you feel. You could still slice the ball into the centre pocket and run towards the yellow this mm. side cushion. But I would think that uh, Warren will play the ball down the cushion first. But he's gone the other way. Well, is he going for the plant? Might be going yellow off yellow. Oh, oh. Not a well, he's got a cover. Yeah. Getting away with a few loose ones in this frame, but they're still slight favourites. This next shot is crucial now. Again, he's half taken the bow. Keeble's very awkward though, but there's no bit of that. I think both teams <coughs> need to be a bit more positive at the moment. Attack the balls a little bit more. Showing each other a bit too much respect. Yeah, I think I'll be taking that, uh, taking that top yellow in the top right hand pocket. Yep, try to leave the cue ball at the ball canvas. We'll have a little uh, little interval after this uh, after this frame. Just for a few minutes. That's a very good effort by Joe. Good shot that is. Very nice shot. A little bit unlucky. This was straight, mm -hmm. you could just toss through, put the other down the side mm -hmm. cushion, black in the opposite corner. How would you be working this uh, cue ball? Um, I'd be playing just above centre on the cue ball, with a touch of right hand side. So just where Ryan is holding his cue now, just past that red, and then right hand side will take you over towards the other end. Got to push right through this shot. Great queuing. It's a nice shot. Very good effort. You yeah. stay down on that shot. I think she'll be going for the double. Yes. Yeah. That's a little bit too straight to be able to chop this down over the reds, I think. But Never quite tell with the overhead view though. Shad's gone for the double. Oh, and that's not the worst result in the world, leaving the yellow there. It makes it a slightly more difficult finish. Now the two boys really need to take control of this frame now. It's early in the match, but it's almost a must-win frame. I don't think mm. we could give a three or four frame start away. Straight away, they finished awkward again. Mm. Yeah, I think they'd rather be going in the interval 3-2 rather than 4-1. Mm -hmm. Big difference. That's sensible. Didn't need to play that too far. There is a shot that looks on here. You hit the yellow full ball, um, you may be able to just be able to sneak the free ball plant in and just stun where the yellow is and leave the white behind the black. I think they I think they're looking to come off the cushion first. Yeah. to get this yellow into play, there's no point leaving it there. Mm -hmm. Might be one of them times where you just have a hit and hope. Let's fly both in pockets. 
Oh, is he gonna line that up for the uh, centre left? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen you do a few of these before. Uh, usually not on purpose. <laughs> Definitely play on to the yellow and leave the white behind the black, I think. He's going for the big one. And they, ooh. Ooh. Yep. Mm. Where the yellow's gone, that's not put a lot of pressure on this finish now. This really should be five drop ins. And keep this cube slow and steady now. Don't let the white travel like John's just done there. Yeah, it should be formality now. When you've got a finish on like this, you just want to leave natural angles all the time. You don't want to be putting action on the white thing. Just drop in there. So John needs to screw this one back. Get just past the black spot. And that's mm, that's not the right shot. Should have gone lower on the cable. Yeah, I think that's a. It's just a poor choice of shot, and he should have gone lower on the white. He may be able to sniff it in. There. I think he's going to sniff high behind the black here. Yeah. yeah. Well it's a pretty good shot. And Jan chooses the up and down on this one and hits the other full on. She may leave us with that. So I think I lost in my 40s pace. Hmm? <laughs> it does go. I've got very snatchy in my mid 40s. I had to reteach myself how to cue the ball. Then. A lot of people get too short and jabby. Key shot to the frame coming up. Can hit the shadow full on. Don't want to hit this too hard. It looks a little bit firm. Oh, she got away with the. Oh, oh, she has got away with it. Had a result. Can I see enough of the bottom cushion to snip the black in, uh, the red in? <coughs> Might need to play it with a little bit of bottom on the right hand side to create a better angle. I can zoom in and move on. There's no value just rolling up to this red. Looking up and down. Lots of risk involved as you go up and down. Can you not squeeze through there? Squeeze through there in the yellow? They're he pointing at it. the angle to hit the red full on. I'll if tell you what. If you want to snick, snick it in, you've got to play the white with top. To Let me have a, let's have a quick look here. I, I'm sure I can zoom in. Yeah, he's played it well. Just trying out a new zoom feature there, people. So, uh, apologies if. Uh, yeah, nice shot. Great shot. Back in the match at 3 2. I believe there's a short interval on the way. Right, we're just gonna have a little, uh, a little break, guys. So uh, stay, stay with us. We'll, uh, we'll be back with you shortly. <laughs>
All right, we're back again. Just uh, just caught the back end of that break. Apologies. at the table now. Mm. Well, that's a nice containing shot. Gonna go, looks like she's going to go for the loss of turn. Yep, straight away. That's right. Oh. Just take it off. Just have another one for now. Hello, Stewie. Sorry. I'm back. Oh, hello there. Hello, how are you Where doing? Where have you been shopping? No, no, I let someone with actually uh, uh, an ounce of talent commentate, a.k.a. Sean Halligan. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to say Stuart Jackson then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> well, it's nice, you know, it's, it's nice to have someone uh, that yeah, actually knows. knows. Yeah, he actually yeah, knows his stuff. And, in, and he does know his stuff, so uh, if, you're in, if you're in need of any uh, coaching lessons at all, any tutorials, then uh, Sean's a man to get in contact with. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Ozzy, thanks for tuning in, mate. I live closer. I'm sure you do. Because we're in your club right now. And you don't live here. Oh, has he tuned in, has he? He has, yeah. Not in person, but virtually. Absolutely. So, Janet at the table and the yellows. Let's have a look. What do you reckon on these yellows? Do you reckon they're there? Uh, I think it's a tall order. On the yellows? Yeah, I think uh, it's going to push that red onto that yellow. Could open them up a bit. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm. Got a safe red there. What did you make of the final so far? As we predicted, tight affair so far. 3 2. Yeah, it's always going to be a tight one today. Yeah. You know, at one point now, I did think that uh, Jan and that was running away with it. Jan and Ryan at the beginning, but uh, yeah, 3 2. 3 2 indeed. Nice shot by Jan there, taking it into the middle. Indeed. Oh, she's got an option here. What's the options? One down the cushion, bit of top right, bring the, uh, bring the white back behind the other two, down near the red. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a shot, shot he went. Well, now he's put the red safe on the bottom. Them yellows are nice though, aren't they? Yeah. Got to be a good shot here. One good position off that one over the bag and this one could be gone. Uh, on YouTube, they're just still talking. Yeah, I think the 
visiones. Mm. Well, I think I'd have taken the other one first, down here. Yeah, yeah. Mind you. Probably just got it now. It would be nice to have a little bit of an angle on there. This is not as easy as you think, because they've got... I'm going to leave this yellow in the bottom left. Mm. But I don't think that black... I don't think that black um, goes past that red. So, you mm. know, it's, it's not easy. I think you probably have to just maybe check it. Check it across the table, mm. I think. If that's possible. Yeah, I think this is the reason I'd have gone the other way, because yeah. that was far too straight, and there he hasn't got the angle to play the black into the middle. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he's forcing it around the table. Uh, question from Matthew Seven: Have we ever thought about getting the players mic'd up? Um, no, but we've definitely thought about having the ref mic'd up. Mm. Um, definitely. I don't think the players are going to really provide much content when they're playing the match. I don't think that's going to be their focus. Um, it's a good idea. What do you, what, you got any input, Stu? Yeah, no. Uh, definitely not from my perspective. Uh, I mean, I've I've tried playing in the in the competition and narrating at the same time, and you can't concentrate on both. Oh you, yeah. you you have to be fully focused on your pool. I mean, uh, to be honest, they're not really going to talk anyway. Uh, or, or say anything that, that's going to be beneficial to the viewers. No, no, no. Oh. They're only going to be chatting to one another or great shot, crap shot. Take this one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, no, but the referee definitely, yeah, the, the referee. I mean, whether it's just for ambience around by the players, and because and it, it's going to pick up what they're chatting about as well. Yeah, so like in in the instances of a foul, we'll mm. get a clear reason as to why a foul's taken place if you missed it on the stream. You know, it's all beneficial for the ref being mic'd up. Is this one squeeze pass? Oh, he's gone for the old attentional pockets. What? What? Every single one. <laughs> he's got yeah, he's every single pocket. <laughs> All seven of them. Well, I would, I, w I would say that's a hit and hope, but that's not that's not the words I'm looking for. Even though I said it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. Oh, I'd love one. Yeah, yeah. Two sugars? Yeah, perfect. Thank you, thank you. So it's just refreshments coming to the commentators. You, 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 you guys don't realise that, uh, you know, we are trying to do a bit of commentating, but it, it, it gets thirsty business. It's thirsty business, and we've just been offered a, a tea and a coffee. Now, in most circumstances, when you're offered that, you're like, that's fine, you know, it's just a normal, everyday thing, but... For some reason, this this hits differently. It's just a, it's just a much needed tea and coffee. <laughs> yeah. So there was a there was a frame taken back there by Dom and uh, Dom and Bevan. So we're all level. All level at three all. Don't forget, guys, please share our stream, uh, get people uh, aware of what we're doing. We're doing it for the community. We don't, we don't make any profit from this. We don't... Um, um, it's, it's, it's purely to provide something to the community, isn't it, Stu? No, 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 very much so. Uh, that was our main, the main reason behind this, is to uh, bring all the, the lazy so-and-sos that can't be bothered to come down and watch it. The How did, how, how did this come about? What did, what did we do to start this? I can't. I think I, d uh, I sent you a picture of a logo or something like that, and it's just grown <laughs> from there day by day. <laughs> no, we're sitting here with two computers, it completely has. neglecting our playing. <laughs> no, exactly. Well, there isn't there isn't much around really in uh, Maidstone and Tunbridge for li live streaming the pool matches. There's nothing. Uh, so t to give the community the opportunity to watch these matches. Uh, 
here that's the whole reason for doing it I mean it is very time consuming and uh, you know we, we do have our normal day jobs as well so trying to um, trying to get around but we always seem to find time we always seem to find time and, and get it all set up and uh, uh, get everything running yeah we've, we've, we've come a long way in a few months and uh, it's only going to get stronger could I well this is completely off topic but um what we're going to talk about Paul I'm going to talk to people <laughs> people who go to work they're always like I don't have enough time I don't have this most people work what 37 and a half to 40 hours a week if you collaborate that all into one lump it only a equates to a, a day and a half a week of working so you, you definitely do have time <laughs> if you want to do something just right, manage well, it. <laughs> well, it's time management it's exactly it's a good theory so that's so that's Adam's theory that you can get your working week out in one and a half days. <laughs> I'll get my coat. <laughs> <laughs> well. um, Paul Hayes, better to have the players' colours next to their name. Um, like we say, we are a growing stream pool, and we are um, we we have ideas. Unfortunately, we we can't um, put them all into into practice at once. Uh, we have to study each each element of the stream and then apply it properly you know we don't want to do a shoddy job even though it may seem like it right now of my commentary do you know what though no that that's a very valid point it's a very valid because it because obviously the uh, people want to know you know who is uh, who is red and who is who is yellow so uh, yeah. no 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 for, thank you for bringing that along i will uh, we may introduce that we we, we, we have the technology we did try in one one of them didn't we was it Paddock Wood? We tried that. Yeah, it was, it, it was very successful. Obviously, we we we've we done a test, but not a but not a live test. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, no. Thank you for bringing that on. So so rather than uh, us telling you who's uh, what colours or wasting to see the person pop in the picture, having that visualization on the actual scoreboard is a uh, is a good way to go. So yeah, who who brought that to our attention? Paul Hayes. Oh, no, forget it, I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's actually just called you a pro and said, get it done. Oh, uh, so good you lad. Must, you, you're, you're coming out with him at the right times tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yep, no, no, we'll uh, take, take him on board and we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we shall implement that. So, um, just to back to the pool, Jan and Ryan on these yellows, uh, all there, just got to work their way around them. That's a nice shot. They all seem to be there. She can get the cue ball back around. Two cushions. Very nice. Very nice perfect, shot. Perfect, perfect. So what we're we talking here? Just running, running through yellow in the middle, black in the same pocket. Yeah, pretty much. Don't know what to screw back. Oh, well, it's just cool. Let's just nick that. But he's still, he's still okay. I thought he had the angle to screw back the yellow same pocket. Yeah. Might be wrong. Do you think she's? Changed the change of mind there and taking it up the top, but then again, it doesn't give you the natural angle to come on the black. Um, mm. Let's change the view and have a look overhead. Yeah, she's just off straight there. So yeah, no. I mean, you could you could just um, stun it to the side of the red and then play a finney on the black. Yeah, I think my adventurous way of playing is a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Long gone. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, uh, I'll I'll definitely be taking that yellow in the in the middle, just past the black, and uh, bringing the white back over on the side cushion, top cushion, back into the middle play. I think she's going middle. And she has. It's lovely held. Yep, definitely. Well she well obviously, played. she's uh, obviously. W w I thought I was sitting far enough away, but she obviously she can hear me. <laughs> yeah, free coaching. Yeah. Well, it should be nice. He's got the got the red there as a blocker. Yep. No chance of an enough unless he unless he's it too hard and goes in the other pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan has played some really nice long shots. He plays up at uh, he plays interleague for Jordan's Crusaders and yeah, very nice. I think Sunday he potted a couple of really That's nice it. long shots as well. Four three to Jan and Ryan. So, so they're so they're keeping it going. So basically so halfway. Yep. Halfway and, they've and, and they, they seem to be in the lead every frame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
don't forget guys this stream's here for you so if you do want to come and commentate let us know or come to one of our events and you can just jump on whenever you like and if yeah and if, if you want to come down you need some pool coaching <laughs> Of the Thames. Well, oh, just just went a bit black then. I should have been quicker on taking that promo out. That's a nice break. It's yep. not. Oh, that white's kicked back up the top. Yeah, thank God. Lovely, ni nice. Have a cup. Do you know what's nice though? Is uh, at Centuries is they they bring you the coffee in a plastic cup so you can burn your hands. To be fair, I've just burnt my hands. I know. <laughs> I mean, they have. I mean, to be fair, place he has he has he has doubled up on the plastic, but it's still not very. It's still not very thick, is it? I mean, unless I mean, I'm an office worker, so so my hand, my hands are quite delicate. You know, <laughs> I haven't got a builder's hands. I'm not being funny, right? You could put your um, you could put your hands on the front of a digger, and no one would question it. They're massive hands. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I need to. Uh, but yeah, so delicate. <laughs> thank you, delicate. That's why, that's why they call you the artist. Yeah, right? delicate and smooth, exactly. <laughs> They only, they only call me the artist because I paint with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a chimpanzee that paints with his feet? I believe there is actually, yeah. Not not called Stuart though. <laughs> Did you see? No, not called Stuart. <laughs> Did you see uh, in the paper that, um, that people reckon they saw Banksy at one of his uh, recent... Uh, you know he does them in secret. And yeah, yeah. They reckon... Banksy was actually mingling in with the crowd while they were like, "How did this get here?" Sort of thing. Oh, really? Yeah, because it was actually, it was actually a guy called Robin Gunning who they, who they expected to be the Banksy. So his identity might be out. What well, anyone who's interested? Well, I, I think the true identity, looking at our promo videos, is a uh, Banksy is Adam Adam Wisby. <laughs> <laughs> Or, 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 or change or that B to a W. Yeah. <laughs> or, or a blind Banksy. <laughs> blind Banksy. <laughs> yeah, that could be your that could be your new nickname, Blind Banksy. How come do you get the artist and I get Blind Banksy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. So uh, Jan and Ryan are on red team. And they're currently in a snooker. Uh, just a quick mention that uh, shortly there will be a um, Tunbridge Premier League starting. Um, details will follow on the stream. Not today, but uh, we'll let you know. But it's a, um, it's a bit of a different concept from what we're used to in that area, would you say? Oh yeah, very much so. I mean, because we were in Tunbridge area, it's really blackball rules. So, so to, to introduce international rules, yeah. uh, you know, the guys are finding it strange. I mean, we're in a the pilot season and uh, we've had excellent, excellent feedback, but uh, but it's also not scheduled, is it? No, which no. Is it, which is also something that I don't mm. believe many people have tried. Well, I mean, if uh, if the general person takes your theory and only works one and a half days <laughs> to get there, <laughs> I'm sure they can fit a full game in. Yeah. <laughs> can someone ask Mr. Halligan what happened Monday night against the Bandits? Um, I could tell you, Paul, uh, that MCCA won 11 5. That's what happened. And I'll drink to that. <laughs> God, that's very hot. Drop a cup of tea. I have to wear one of those. Uh, 
cool gloves to pick up the coffee when we're commentating. Uh, or oven gloves. <laughs> yeah, the oven gloves here. Anyway, we got to. Thank you everyone for sharing the stream. Uh, please keep sharing. Obviously, we want to grow this as large and as quick as possible. And obviously, um, it, this stream is not just for if you want to come and commentate. We will be running events um, where you can come and play a match on stream, or if you want to play a money match on stream. Um, we'll be incorporating it into leagues and tournaments so there's going to be plenty of opportunity for everyone just get in touch how do they get in touch? how do people get in touch? so they can email us at wisejackpool at gmail.com they can message you Stuart Jackson or me Adam Wisby via messenger um, but eventually we will have our own Fub page. Oh, Fub page. A fub, yeah. Yes. Ev this is the Wish version of Facebook. Yeah, most most people. Oh, that's a very nice shot. Hello, Waza. How are you doing? Warren Haddon joining in. He he's refed a few of these um, competitions. Also, g good player as well, Warren. Yep. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I've, I've never actually seen him play. No. Well, to be honest with you, I'm I'm new to the Maidstone area, so I'm uh, uh, I'm just really known for talking rubbish, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do play a bit of Paul now and again. You know, I, I, I can hold, hold my own. You know. Yeah, I mean, I think you're a good player. I think I'll be. I think I'll be going going across the table, coming back and knocking that red pass out yellow. Yeah, it's definitely a shot. There's a knuckle in the way that. Uh, Let's have a look at the even overhead even view. Just the slightest. Yeah, slightest. You have to check it. <laughs> exactly. It all sounds like someone's fallen over in the kitchen behind us. Glad to hear it, Warren. Ems is here are a great team to be fair. Here Sean had a mare. Stream quality has improved a lot by his no lagging anymore. Paul, do you mean lagging tonight or just lagging from the first time we streamed? <laughs> yeah. Oh that was terrible. Yeah, that, was <laughs> that was dial up connection that was. I, I mean we didn't actually stream it, what we did we took thousands of pictures <laughs> very quickly <laughs> and Stu in milliseconds pasted them all together. With my soft manly hands. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Martin and drinking wine stew. No idea what he's on about. But I believe, uh, I believe, obviously we're at Centuries tonight, and I believe that Centuries have uh, have implemented a new. Uh, a new broadband, uh, not not for the general public, but it's uh, compared to our first stream, it should be flawless. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everything in theory is always perfect, isn't it? It's when you put it in well. action. You do psychology hour with me, because I talk so much crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be quite quite happy to really. That's what Facebook and Instagram is, isn't it? Mm. Just Psychologist. Well, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> so is a born hand to a, a Dom and John. Yeah. How would you be taking these out? I'll be playing oh back oh into oh these two. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I know he's played that well from there. Very good shot. That's going to be a tight cut. Yeah. That's it. it. Seems to be very bright. Yeah. It's Try and dim it down a bit. Does this, does this cut in? It's going to be a very fine cut. Is he going to lose that keyboard though? Um, Paul Hayes, are you guys streaming every money match? On yeah, we're, we're streaming all day uh, on Saturday from about quarter to 11 all the way through to the bitter end. 
at 10 o'clock. Uh, a lot of money on the line. It's going to be a lot of people in the club, so a good atmosphere. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to the matches. I wouldn't want to call any of them, if I'm honest. Mm. I wouldn't want to call the winner on any of them, mm -hmm. I think. I think it would be a, it'd be a maybe yeah. a surprise or two. Be a very long day. Huh? Very be a very long day. Yeah. For uh not for the players but for the uh but production team. But the production yeah. but you'll be pleased to know. For for our services for the day they have offered to make us another cup of tea. Now <laughs> <So laughs> <laughs> yeah, that it's quality. That was unlucky there, well he's uh he's posted that yellow but he's put the white straight on the black. I think he's just got a Hidden this in from a bit of left. Just to I'm not too sure. Let's have a. Can you just go top? Let's oh, get a top view. Um, no skill shots. Oh, nah, he's, he's, very he's very tight on that. Unfortunate. I think he's played that bit of check. Thank you, Ozzy. A serious bit of stream this from Ozzy. Uh, we're sitting in his club drinking his tea. Uh, but thank you, Ozzy, for all that. Stay yeah. out. This thank is our thank club you. now. Yeah, thank, thank you, Ozzy. I'm no, no longer holding, thirsty. We're holding your club to ransom. Yeah. You want it back? How much? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oz left to pay an entrance fee. <laughs> yeah, Oz, £15 for your ticket on Saturday. Mm. Oh, pay per view. Oh, just to let you know, uh, on Saturday, come down the club, enjoy the pool in the flesh. No tickets. Have a drink all day. There are tables available to play alongside while the money matches go on. Have a money match yourself and we will stream the result as well. So, plenty going on. Lots going on. Mem remember also to uh, give the thumbs up and a like to our to our site and su subscribe. Pass the word around. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't got one like on this stream at the moment. Um, oh, we're that bad. Let's bring Sean back on a bit of commentating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, Paul Shrimpton, what a positional shot! Yeah, it wasn't. It was a. Uh, no, Paul said it himself. I can't. <laughs> it was just like yeah. Right, and second, a second. Let's, let's give the cameraman a shout just to uh, move the camera to in a bit. Lovely, N nice shot there, by John. That's back to four all. Black from bed. Four roll. As oh. I said, tip for tap. Yeah. And in for the break. And John's in for the break as well. Is that a dry one? It is. Do you tend to find you go through spells where you say have ten breaks and you'll you'll go dry off nine of them? Do you ever s tend to find that? No, not really. <laughs> Perfect. No, do you know what? Do you know what though? I mean, I was having this conversation with someone the other day, and, I, and, I, and there are so many elements into why the break is dry. You know, I mean, obviously you got uh, you got movement from your actual body when you're playing the shot, because obviously when you're when you're feathering the cue ball, and then when you go to take your shot, nine times out of ten people stand up and give it a smack, so it moves your tip off where you're going to contact the ball, produces side spin, uh, lo loads of facts. Even when you're racking the balls, I mean. A lot, a lot of people, you, you, you probably know this. You'll, you'll rack the ball with, with the black on the black spot. Go to move the triangle, and the top red or the top, the top red pops off. So you, so, so you're moving the rack up and down. So you're not actually positioning it back over the black spot accurately. So if the balls are not aligned when you're hitting them, and then you, you know, it's going to be dry. Yeah, absolutely. That is my theory. I mean, I don't really know about the dry break. I mean, uh, for me, that's just something that either happens or doesn't. But. I do believe that 
if you the more you, the harder you hit a brake the more risk you're taking because you can go dry you can leave a ball on and you can go in off mm. there's more chance of it so if you're willing to take that risk the reward is great so I always go for the medium hard to hard brake I mean that's absolutely true because I have me personally I've probably doled down my strength for my brake to about 65 70% and as long as long as I hit the ball in the same position, yeah. uh, you know, I'm still, I'm still scattering the balls around the table nicely. Yeah. Uh, but you c no, you're correct. It does work. It's the, you, Paul Hayes just said it. Actually, it's about timing, not power. He's right. Yeah. No. Exactly that. Absolutely. And, and the main object which I try, which I try and do when, when I break, is to try and leave that ball, the cue ball, centrally in the middle of the table, to be within the balls. But obviously. Yeah. If it's dry, and then you, <laughs> and and then a the frame over. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, many a time in league matches or whatever or tournaments, I've gone really hard just to, because you, you, you want to guarantee mm. yourself that they're going to spread nice and get a ball, yeah. and then you just take the first couple of frames. I've I've been punished for that. Mm. So. No, I, to I totally take on board what you say because you can. You can do all your all your measurements, all your angles, place the cue ball in the same position, yeah. week in, week out, frame after frame, hit it exactly the same, and then balls don't go in the same position. They, they, you don't get the same results. It's it's random. Breaks are random. Yeah. I mean, unless you, I, I know there's some players out there who have a theory that if the balls are aligned this way, or if they're all touching, or this ball, if I hit it here, this ball will go in that pocket. But it's never 100 percent guaranteed. So. You know, if there was a right way to break, everybody would be doing it by now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Everybody be dishing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Would you prefer, for Manny, would you prefer a front break or a cut break? I, I opt for the front break all the time. I always go for the front break. My experiences with the uh, cut break is. Uh, sometimes I, I hit him too hard and just lose lose the cue ball, uh, as in he goes bouncing. Yeah, it goes bouncing. But then again, I done a front I done a front break the other day. I hit it so hard. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quite an athletic build sort of person, <laughs> <laughs> and and I did give it a full gusto. And yeah, when and he says that, he means the hammer throw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but 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 no. In, in all seriousness, I I hit that ball so hard. That the white ball just went vertical and nearly hit the light. Yeah, and and never never happened before. Uh, I mean, it's, it's probably because I had a spinach omelet that morning. You know, Popeye yeah, used yeah, to have the spinach. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah. his forearm. I can see you bought seven cans with you tonight. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll tell you who is a good breaker. Um, uh, I don't know if he's watching, but Ricky Cooper. He when he was breaking last night, like. Almost perfect breaks every time. If you're watching, Rick. Kudos to your break, mate. Mm. Yes. Raise my burnt hands with my <laughs> coffee <laughs> to your breaking this. Um, so, Dom. Oh, that's a great shot by Dom. That's a good shot. Oh, oh, I suppose a bit of commentate on the actual pull, should we? Yeah, no, I mean, oh. it's good to do a bit of both, isn't it? Well, that's what we bring Sean, Sean in for, really. We just talk nonsense. For anyone listening, we, me and Stu, would like a couple of commentary nicknames. So, um, so if you've got any, any ideas or plans of what you think that mm. should be, please put them in the comments and then we will discuss them and then reject them straight away. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously no explicits and clean names, please. Yeah. What about this? The Legend and Stuart Jackson. <laughs> That's a narcissistic one. <laughs> Perfect. Right, we'll we'll, uh, we'll store that one in the bank. <laughs> oh, sorry, right. This is slurping your overheated coffee. There's not really um, too much to go at here. So he's just going to put this. Uh, no, that's a clever shot. I'm up for Paul Hayes has just volunteered to commentate on a Saturday. Obviously, he's got his match against Race to 21. Uh, international rules, I believe, against Lee Monk. And Race to 21? 
and it starts at seven. So it's going to be a long one. What's it? But it's a money match, and quite a few people are interested in the score in that one because they they are evenly matched, but for different reasons. Which are? If I knew, I'd tell you. Yes. <laughs> no, but um, they just they just have different 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 styles. Yeah. Different styles. Different the mannerisms around the table. But a race of 21, that's a, to keep concentration. Blackpool rules, sorry, no, Paul, Paul's just confirmed it's Blackpool rules, ignore what I said. Well, is it Blackpool rules? Hang on, can I, Blackpool rules. Can, I, can I just confirm that myself? Uh, let's, let, me, let me have a look. I, I have him uh, somewhere here, under matches. It's on the undercard. Was it on the under? Oh, we, oh no. no, I don't have that information. Not the undercards. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> just like yeah, I'm looking forward to that match. Yeah. That'd, be that'd, be, that'd be a good match. I think that'd be. If not, I think that will actually be the tightest match of the day. If I'm honest. That'd be a, a midnight. Potter, an all round player. Um, mm. A midnight. I don't know. I don't know, Paul. I don't know about that one. It'd definitely be a midnight stint. On that game. Well, no, t t t 21 gold of breaks. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that'd be very nice. The golden breaks and golden ducks in play. Have they specified that? Was that a specified, Paul? Golden ducks and golden breaks? The action here. We've got Jan on the reds. Oh, straight oh no. That was, that was saving not race. Going. I don't think that yellow goes anywhere. Does it not, does it not go? I'm not too sure whether the other angle will give us a, give us a view of that. Uh, just going back to Annie Wong's comment, um, what do you, what's your break? What do you prefer? <coughs> Oh, golden ducks and golden uh, breaks in play. Winner breaks as well. Oh, wow, wow that, no, that, that, is a, that is a king of the hill. Mm. What table would they be uh, playing their matches on? Um, I believe. Would it be five or would they go in six Paul, and sevens? I think Paul and Lee are on three. All oh, right, okay. And Bevan versus Maskell Bevan playing now. Is on five. And obviously, just to let you know, for the uh, for the thirtieth, we're setting up a arena, so it should look pretty professional for your uh, for your leisure. We haven't we haven't tiered seating. <laughs> <laughs> For the, for the proper arena effect. I mean, you've tiered seat and sitting on each other's shoulders, isn't that? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. I think this would be a containment shot, or is she going to go for the. Yeah, yeah, another containment shot. Yeah, good shot. Would it be nice to get that red off the cushion, though? Oh. Oh.
go. Sorry about that, guys. We're back on live. Um, sorry about the technical issues. Stu will be punished later for that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Can you guys just let us know in the chat that everything's okay your end? Yeah. We're going to try this angle for you, if not unless you would like us to zoom in. Turn the sound down on your promo video. Just had a heart attack. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we wanted to give someone an uplifting, fun vibe. 